Shelby Brubetter, the latest BMS news. Last week, six and fifth graders had a senior citizens concert um, at the First Parish Church. Also in town recently was Christmas in Berlin. They had many activities, such as the gingerbread house making contest. One highlight of this perfect day was how they had a play called Twas a Crazy Night Before Christmas. Everybody enjoyed it. And I am Shelby, going on to Megan. <laughs> Hi, I am Megan O'Day. I just have one little quick announcement. Jazz band will, will meet as usual on Thursday, right after school. But anyways, I will be having a story for international news. Women are now in the Hockey of Hall of Fame. Angela James of Canada and Cammie Groton of the United States became the first woman to be included into the Hockey Hall of Fame. The ceremony was held in the Hall of Fame of Toronto, Canada. When they were young, Angela and Cammie played hockey with the boys. They became great players. People in the Hall of Fame committee said that these women helped spread the popularity of hockey. More girls are choosing to play hockey now that Angela and Cammie had led the way. I am Megan O'Day, signing off. Lauren is going to take over Catherine, and then, now she, then she's going to read her international story. Hi, I'm Lauren Walsh, filling in for Catherine Fleming with an international news story. If an ostrich, a football player, a squirrel, and a pig had a race, who would win? Professor Peter Wayland is trying to predict which one would be the winner of the weirdest 40-yard race ever. Don't worry, it's not a real race. The professor is using his knowledge of how animals accelerate to predict the winner. He thinks that the long-legged ostrich would get off to a fast start, followed by the NFL receiver. In the first part of the race, the squirrel would be in third place and the pig would be last. Forty yards later, the ostrich would still be in the lead and the receiver would be in second place. Since pigs can't speed up as fast as squirrels, but can run faster, Mr. Whalen predicts the pig would move faster at the end and beat up the squirrel for third place. Imagine how weird this race would look if it really took place. I'm going on to a new story. Okay. Um, I'm Lauren Walsh again with many rare turtles washed ashore in critical condition. More than two dozen endangered Kemp Ridley's turtles were rushed to a Boston aquarium for immediate care over Thanksgiving weekend. Kemp's Ridley turtles are the most rare and smallest known species of marine turtles. Expert scientists estimate that only about 1,000 adult females still exist around the world, down from hundreds of thousands about 50 years ago. During the winter, the turtles swam back from migration to the same beach in Mexico where they laid their eggs. But as they were trying to travel home, the turtles got sick and washed up in Massachusetts. Powerful waves pushed the Kemp Ridleys off course and onto the beaches of the eastern coast of Massachusetts due to strong winds. When experts found them, the turtles' body temperatures were 20 degrees below their normal temperatures. Plus, they hadn't eaten in a long while. Tony Lacasse, who works at New England Aquarium, says that the turtles are suffering from hypothermia, malnourishment, and dehydration, which is severe cold, lack of water, and lack of food. These turtles are going to spend three to nine months at the animal center in the aquarium until they are healthy. Veterinarians will feed them, give them medicine, and gradually raise their body temperature. Once the turtles are healthy, a New England aquarium prepares to release them back into the Atlantic Ocean. I'm Lauren Walsh, and this, this is BMS, BMS News. Action News. Signing off. Yeah. Peace out.